Hi my little niblet, how are you tonight? So tonight, are you ready? Did you brush your teeth and wash your face and say your prayers? Are you tucked in with Blanky, Lola, and all your teddy bears? Now that you're ready, my little sleepy eyes, let's enjoy story time. Like the night stars in the sky. Sweet dreams, I love you, and a new Tonight's story, I'm going to read you Donald Duck's Tallest Tale. This is a very old story. This was written a long time ago. So let's see who we have. Oh, there's different pictures of Donald Duck. Look at him. Isn't he a cutie? Very different. This is Donald Duck's Tallest Tales. By Walt Disney Productions. All right, here we go. Donald Duck liked to tell tall tales. Donald and his friends talked many things, but Donald had to have the last word about fishing, for example. One day, Donald, Mickey, and Goofy were, went fishing. They sat on the edge of the dock. This is great, said Goofy. It reminds me of the time I went fishing by myself. I felt a tug on my fishing line. I started to reel the line in. Well, what a fish! It was huge! The fish dove under the water, and I almost went under too. Finally, I caught the line. That's nothing, said Donald. Here's my fishing story. I hooked a little fish. Then a big fish came along. It was a swordfish. It snapped up the little fish. It cut the fishing line. It almost cut the boat in half. I was lucky to get home alive. That was one of Donald's tall tales. Another day, the three friends went on a picnic. They drove out to the country. They saw a nice spot under a big tree. Great place for a picnic, said Donald. Moo, said a cow from the farm next door. She thought the food looked good. Well, said Mickey, that cow reminds me of something. Reminds me of when I was out collecting butterflies, said Mickey. Butterflies, said Donald. Yes, Donald, said Mickey. I chased one, but it led me right to a bull, and I ran away quickly. And I remembered what bullfighters do. I took off my jacket. I waved it around. The bull kept trying to run into the jacket, but I made sure he kept missing it. Soon, he got tired. How about the time I met a giant in the forest, said Donald. The giant laughed when he saw me. He thought he could, he could crush me with, with his foot. At first, I was scared. Then I walked right up to him. I punched him in the knee. I knocked him over. I hit him again. And I hit him hard. Just like that. Mickey and Goofy just smiled. They did not believe this tall tale. Soon Donald decided to go on another trip. He was taking his nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie with him. The nephews packed the car. Donald carried his fine old camera. We're going to the desert, said Donald. We'll have an adventure. We will look for traces of ancient people and animals. I'll take pictures of all my very special camera. Donald packed the camera carefully. Soon the whole car was packed. They were off. 
Have a good trip, called Mickey and Goofy. I will come back with a good story, said Donald. Mickey and Goofy laughed. They heard that before. That afternoon, they arrived in the desert. They saw the mystery Mesa. That's it, cried Donald. Mystery Mesa is where people and animals lived long ago. It's a large, steep rock with a flat top. Donald parked the car. He gave the orders. The nephews unpacked the car and set up camp. Soon the sun set. It was bright orange. Donald and his nephews ate their picnic supper. We must wake up early, said Donald. The nephews fell asleep right away. But not Donald. He was too excited. He was up at sunrise to climb the mesa. Up, up, up he climbed. He rested on a small ledge. He did not see anything ancient yet. On he climbed. At last, Donald reached the top of the mesa. The sun was hot up there. Donald walked on when, swoosh, he slid in a hole. Down he fell, down, 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 and he landed with a crash. When Donald looked around, he was amazed. The light on his hat lit up the walls. Wow, he said. Look at that ancient drawings on the walls. This discovery will make me famous. Donald took many pictures. Everyone will be proud of me, he said. I will win awards. Soon he was ready to leave. Then he looked around. There was no other way out. He had to climb through the hole that he had fallen into. He struggled to get out. Rocks kept slipping. And at the top, Donald grabbed a branch. He pulled himself up. Stones and rocks began to fall. They blocked the tunnel. Whew, said Donald. No one will be able to see those drawings. My photos will be the only record. I will be a hero. At the bottom of the mesa, Donald saw Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They were glad to see their uncle. Can we climb too? they asked. Sorry, boys, said Donald, but we must hurry home. Back home, Donald rushed to the camera shop. Develop this right away, he said. I invited Goofy and Mickey to come over the next evening. The trip was great, said Donald. I discovered a cave with ancient drawings on the walls. People of long ago drew them. Wow, said Mickey. Will you take us there? Sorry, said Donald. I barely got out. As I got to the top of the tunnel, the stones and rocks slid down and blocked it up. My pictures were the only record. The nephews ran in just then. And they had the pictures. Donald pulled them out quickly. what is this? Oh, no, he said. He looked at a few more pictures. Oh, no, he said again. Mickey grabbed the pictures. Look, he said, a picture of Donald's hand. And Mickey started to laugh. Donald was furious. All the pictures of Donald's hand, said Goofy. Donald had not held the camera correctly. Great pictures, said Mickey, grinning. Great story, too, said Goofy. You can't top that one. But this time my story's true, said Donald. It's true. It's true. Goofy and Mickey laughed all the way home. Maybe the story was true, but they hoped Donald had learned a lesson. And that's the end. And that's Don Donald's DuckTales. Night-night, sweet dreams. Love you.